This is an ocular ultrasound clip demonstrating a vitreous and retinal detachment. A linear transducer is used and placed in a transverse orientation on the upper eyelid. In this image, we can appreciate the orbit here, cornea, iris as this hyperechoic structure, and the back of the eye can be seen here. Notice as the probe is fanned back and forth, we do see a hypoechoic area coming down from the eye, which is the optic nerve. We also see some hyperchoic lines here and here, which are artifact. The pathology seen here is this thin, lacy appearing mobile membrane moving back and forth as the patient moves the eye, which is our vitreous detachment, and this hyperchoic thicker membrane that is seen tethered near the optic nerve is our retinal detachment. Notice that you can distinguish retinal detachment from vitreous detachment by looking and seeing if it's tethered to the back of the eye. Since the retina is an extension of the optic nerve, when it comes off, it will remain tethered to the retina and will not cross over. As opposed to a vitreous detachment, when the vitreous detaches, it can lie over the optic nerve and cross over it. It also is much thinner and has less echogenicity.